The Mr. Men and Little Misses love their cars, so it's no surprise that they also love their garage. <laughs> of course, people store things besides cars in their garages. In fact, sometimes even finding your car in the garage can be a challenge. As you might imagine, you won't find even a tiny speck of dust in Mr. Fussy's garage. No! Now, how did that leaf get in here? We'll see about you. I'll be the same. Hmm. Hiya, Mr. Fussy. Shazam! Are you washing your garage floor? Yes. Somehow a leaf blew in here. Mother Nature can be so dirty. But isn't a garage supposed to be messy? Certainly not. You could eat off my garage floor. That is not an invitation. And since you asked how garages are supposed to be, please take note of my neat and orderly shelves of paint cans and this entire shelf of window cleaner. All this talk of neatness and window cleaner makes me kind of uncomfortable. I just came over to ask a favor. You want to borrow a mop? Oh, I dreamed this day would come. Here, take it. Uh, no! See, I just bought a new bicycle, but there's no room in my garage. So I was wondering if I could keep it here in your garage. That bicycle is magnificently clean. Oh, oh, there are no mustard stains, no torn cushion, no crusty cheese. <laughs> OK, OK, don't rub it in. Can I keep it here or what? Mr. Messy, I would be proud to store this spectacular bicycle. Thanks, Mr. Fussy. And listen, feel free to ride it any time. ta -ra! Greetings and salutations, Mr. Fussy. Ooh, I see you have a new bike. Hello, Mr. Nosy, Mr. Small. Oh, no, no, no. This is Mr. Messies. He's just storing it here. Wow, that's a nice set of wheels. There's probably no smoother ride in all of Dillydale. You know, Mr. Messy did say I could ride it. In that case, come for a spin round the block with us. Well, I was mopping my floor, but... Oh, why not? I feel the need, the need for speed. Hey, I never knew you could ride a bike, Mr. Fussy. Well, I am a graceful man. Feel that wind in your hair, Mr. Fussy. Since me bike's here, I figured you wouldn't mind if I kept me sock cheese collection here too. Mr. Fussy? Huh. He must have gone for a bike ride. I'm sure he won't mind. Uh-oh. This bicycle really is magnificent. I'm so happy that I agree to store it for Mr. Messy. Once more round the block, my friends. Absolutely. Uh-oh. I see something going on in your garage, Mr. Fussy. In my garage? What do you mean? Looks like Mr. Messy and paint. <gasps> Sweet apple strudel with cream. I have to get back there, quickly. Looks clean to me. Oh, my sock cheese. Ooh, that's one stinky batch. <laughs> Mr. Messy. Whoa. Oh, goodness, look at the time. Mr. Nosey will be late for the Flamingo races. Right behind you, little friend. Now, that's what I'm talking about. If it's OK with you, I'll take me bike home now, Mr Fussy. It's so messy, it'll look great in me dining room. 
An automatic garage door is a useful thing to have, so long as it's installed professionally. Which is why Mr. Grumpy hired Mr. Stubborn to do the job properly. All finished! Your new garage door is ready to use, Mr. Grumpy. I can't thank you enough, Mr. Stubborn. You're welcome. It's gonna rain tonight and I want to put my car in the garage. How does this thing work? Simple. Point this at the garage, press once and the door opens. You see? It works perfectly. Hold on, Mr. Stubborn. That door didn't stay open. That's because you hit the button twice. I told you only to hit it once. I did not hit the button twice. What? Like I said, it works perfectly. How can you say that? It's broken. It is not broken. You wanted the door to open. It opened. Barely. Oh, how am I supposed to get my car in a garage? Not my fault you have such a big car. If that door doesn't open and close properly, you're taking it back. Here, you, Troy. Fine, I will. Nothing wrong with that door. It goes up and down. What more do you want? I want it to stay up long enough for me to drive my car inside. Then stop talking so much and drive. Oh, of all the cockamamie ideas. What's that racket? That's a special alarm that comes with the door. It means you're moving too slowly. Drive faster. Stop. Stubborn, I'm stuck. Hit the button. I mean, make it go up, not down. Make your mind up, Mr. Grumpy. Just hit the button. Oh. My car is ruined. The door is broken. For the last time, there is nothing wrong with this door. Your car is cheap. Mm. What am I saying? Your whole garage is cheap. Oh, look at cucumbers. Some garages are places you take your car to be repaired. And in Dillydale, Mr. Strong's Ooh. garage is the best in town. Wonderful! I can get along just fine with only three tyres. Ha ha ha! I'm no expert, Mr. Pump, but I think something's wrong with my car. <laughs> ah! No kidding! Well, Mr. Happy, the bad news is your car's a mess. The good news is, Mr. Strong is the best mechanic in Dillydale. <laughs> yeah, here you go, Miss Bossy. Good as new. That's what you say. Did you wash the floor mats? No, but I can. Do that. And while you're at it, paint a racing stripe on the side, a pink racing stripe, and bring me a couple of magazines to read while I wait. Uh, sure. No problem, Miss Bossy. I won't be able to get to your car for a little while, Mr. Happy. I uh, have a little work to do on Miss Bossy's car. And polish mm. up those leather seats, beefcake. But my mechanic in training, Mr. Bump here, he can fix you right up. You can count on me, Mr. Strong. Should I put the car up on the lift first? Excellent idea. See, you know what to do. By putting your car on the lift, I can see underneath it and work out what's wrong. I am impressed. You can do all that? It's as simple as throwing a lever. You mean this wonderful lever? <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, yes, that's the one. First, I want to make sure I have enough light to see underneath the car. Brilliant! Ah! Ow! <laughs> oh, a new headlight. Oh, just what I needed. Glad to be of help. I think I found the problem, Mr. Happy. Whoa! A baton! <laughs> Miss Whoops has been looking for that since the Dillydale Parade. I'll just get rid of this. Oh, poopity poop. Everything turned out okay, Mr. Happy. 
wonderful, Mr. Strong. Why, that was the best service I've ever had. That's what I like to hear. That Mr. Bump is a valuable worker. Yes, he is. Be sure to thank him for me. I have no idea where he went. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Mr. Bump, good job. In fact, I'm going to let you work on all the cars from now on. <laughs> I need to find a new job. So you see, the good people of Dillydale do appreciate their garages. They know there's no better place to store their cars or bicycles. If their garage is still in one piece, of course. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>